the bustling suburban town of Oak Ridge, lived a young man named Harold. At the tender age of 13, he possessed a heart as pure and kind as the morning sun. He had a simple demeanor, always ready to lend a helping hand to anyone in need. Unfortunately, his very kindness became a target for the bullies at his school. Every day after school, a group of unruly boys would corner Harold, mocking his gentle nature and subjecting him to their taunts and jeers. Despite the emotional pain, Harold stood strong, refusing to let their cruelty tarnish his spirit. He believed in the power of compassion, even in the face of adversity. One fateful afternoon, while Harold was enduring another round of torment from the bullies, a stranger came jogging down the path. With a swift and commanding presence, he intervened, scattering the bullies like leaves in the wind. This stranger named Max was a tall and muscular man, but his eyes held a warmth that Harold had rarely seen. Max's heart went out to the young boy, who stood there bruised and battered, yet unbroken. He decided to take Harold under his wing, guiding him away from the shadows of fear and self-doubt. Gently, Max helped Harold to his feet and led him to his gym, a place of strength both physical and mental. When Harold woke up, he was astonished to find himself in a boxing gym. The clang of weights and the rhythmic thud of punches filled the air, and there standing before him was Max, the man who had saved him from the bullies. Max explained his intentions. He wanted to help Harold build not just physical strength, but also the confidence to stand up for himself. Harold hesitated, feeling the weight of uncertainty. He had never considered boxing as a solution to his problem. Problems. But Max's genuine kindness and determination convinced him to give it a try. Max introduced Harold to Coach Jackson, a seasoned boxing trainer with years of experience. Coach Jackson saw potential in Harold's determination and agreed to take him under his wing. Days turned into weeks and weeks into months. Harold trained tirelessly, his body aching, but his spirit unyielding. He discovered an unexpected talent for boxing. His agility, coupled with his natural resilience, made him a formidable opponent in the ring. As he improved, he gained respect not just from his fellow trainees, but from within himself as well. With Max's guidance and Coach Jackson's training, Harold stepped into his first boxing match. The crowd's cheers and the adrenaline coursing through his veins were unlike anything he had ever experienced. He fought with all his heart, proving that kindness and strength could coexist. As time went on, Harold participated in more matches, each one teaching him valuable lessons about discipline, perseverance, and humility. Despite his growing success, Harold remained true to his kind nature, never letting victory turn him into an arrogant person. He earned the nickname Gentle Jabber in the boxing community, a nod to both his fighting style and his unchanging kindness. But it wasn't just about the matches for Harold. He realized that his journey was about personal growth and the power of human connections. He developed deep friendships with his fellow boxers, and he and Max formed a bond that transcended trainer and student. Max became a mentor and a father figure to Harold teaching him that strength wasn't just physical, it was about the heart and the choices one made. As the years passed, Harold's story spread throughout Oak Ridge. He became an inspiration not only to those who had experienced bullying, but to anyone who needed a reminder that kindness could triumph over cruelty. And through it all, Harold never forgot the boy he once was, the one who believed in the goodness of people even when they didn't believe in themselves. Harold's journey, much like the anime Hajime no Ippo, was a testament to the transformative power of courage, friendship, and staying true to one's principles. And as he continued to lace up his gloves and step into the ring, he carried with him the spirit of the young boy who had faced his fears and emerged stronger, kinder, and unbroken.